Some girl, what's she doing here? I can do it, I can do it. This time I can do it. I'm going to fly. Just look at me go. Go, go, go. You have to flap your wings to fly. <laughs> How dare you criticize me, Owl? I'll show Hello, you fly. Are you all right? I'm fantastic. <laughs> Did you see because of you. How can it be possible that you haven't learned how to fly yet? You're a bird, that's what you do. My goodness. I'll teach you how to fly. All you have to do is go to the edge of a branch or something, spread your wings like this and... Oh, you poor thing. Did you hurt yourself, little guy? Uh, not at all. I was just trying to show him what not to I do. I don't think I quite have it yet. Could you repeat that last part, huh? Yes, he's <laughs> quite the comedian pretending to be a bird. Oh. Right. <laughs> Catherine? Where are you, Catherine? It was nice meeting you, but I should go. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Bye! Hope to see you again soon! Okay. Goodbye, my friends. <laughs> Why is she leaving us? Uh, it's not safe for her to walk in the woods alone. We should go with Wait. her. Wait! Hold on! I'm sure she won't mind spending a little more time with us. <laughs>
It's just us. Uh, Who are you two? Why are you hiding back there? What are you doing in this cave? We... Where did all this come from? These oh. can't be yours. <clears throat> oh, so you're both thieves. What would your parents say about this? We're orphans. We don't have any parents. And now we have to steal things to survive. Not anymore. Maybe you could work at my father's dye factory, and then you won't have to steal. Great! Uh, then come with me! Uh, come on, uh, let's go talk to him! Here it is. Let's eat. <laughs> Wait, huh? Oh. Why? She's saying grace. Oh. Uh. oh. Mm. God bless us and bless the food we are about to receive and teach us to share with the poor. Amen. Ah, oh, the bread smells great. Yeah. Bless the food we are about to receive, and teach us to share it with the less fortunate. Amen. Amen. I have some good news for everyone, especially for Catherine. Hmm? <laughs> Catherine, a man has asked for your hand in marriage. But I've already been promised to another. What? What are you talking about? Who have you been promised to? I was promised to Jesus a long time ago, Mother. My only wish is to follow him forever. I humbly ask you, Brother Pryor, to allow me to join your order so I can serve the Almighty Lord every day of my life. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, our first beginning and our last end. You have made us in accord with your own image and likeness. Grant that all the thoughts of our minds and all the words of our tongues, all the affections of our hearts and all the actions of our being may always be conformed to your holy will. Thus, we may come at last to contemplate you face to face in the perfect bliss with you forever in heaven. Are you really certain that you want to give away all of your clothes to the poor? Everything I need is already provided to me by God. Perhaps as low as I can go. These are for you. Please take these. You're welcome. And remember to thank God as well. Lord, 
Dear sweet lord, I thank you for your mercy in transforming this humble servant into an instrument of your love. You gave me the greatest gift of all, your heart. The people need you now more than ever. Every day I look around and I find people that want to assist me in my efforts to serve you, O oh Lord. Guide me, Almighty Lord. Please, show us your wisdom. There she is. Come on, guys, let's go. Catherine, where are we going? To do our duty. Simply to do our duty. Oh Lord, thank you. I've always felt that I might be alone on this mission, but now, even though I don't know many of you, I feel as if you're my brothers and sisters. We are a unique group, a group guided by love, because I know what moves our hearts. I have chosen to serve the Word of God, and I invite you all to do the same. Please, Catherine, tell us what we have to do to follow you and serve God. I don't have the answers to your questions, but I know what it means to dedicate yourself to God. Since I was small, I preferred solitude and prayer. I heard the voice of the Lord, and I listened without remorse. I didn't eat. I didn't sleep. I sacrificed everything to not take away time from Him. This mantle that I wear, for others, it means surrender. But for me, it's only the continuation of a course that we will now follow together. We have to give all that we can to support the poor, because you see, no one is so poor that he can't give anything. Only by loving thy brother can you receive the love you need. Don't expect from man what only the Lord can give you. The divine providence is great and without measure, and we will be the army of love at his side. We will give assistance and comfort to the sick. We will pray for the dying, and we will give food to those who are without. Come, one and all, we have food for everyone. Please, gather around. Take whatever you need. Here for you. Thank you. Thank you. Here you go. Catherine, where are you going? Huh? Better to be without my mantle than without charity. <sighs> when Catherine died, her burial had to be delayed because when the people heard the news, so many turned out that they could not accommodate such a tremendous crowd. Noblemen, farmers, merchants, artisans, literati, and the poor whom she worked so hard to help came one and all and gathered in front of the Church of St. Dominic. Multitudes came from every corner of the land. She had touched so many hearts, so many lives. Each one of them had received something from Catherine's infinite generosity. Those who came felt no pain or discomfort, 
but rather joy for their time spent assisting her or just being witness to her charity. The army of love did not die with Catherine. The huge turnout was testimony to the young woman's message that it would survive long past her time on Earth. In 1999, Pope John Paul II proclaimed her patron saint of Europe in front of a huge crowd still moved by St. Catherine's sincere generosity. Brothers and sisters, Praise be to Jesus Christ. Throughout Europe's existence, the Christian faith has molded the continent's culture and is inexorably intertwined in its history. Christians have the duty to offer all of Europe's people the love and generosity that St. Catherine offered. They will know how to renew themselves with the light of the gospel. In fact, Countless are the Christians that through their life of honesty and righteousness are animated by the love of God and their brethren. They will have reached true holiness and greatness despite any hardship. Saint Catherine, born in Siena, Italy in 1347, was favored since infancy by extraordinary grace. She was destined to follow the spiritual course carved by Saint Dominic a rapid journey perfected through prayer, austerity, and acts of charity. She was 20 years old when Christ manifested his connection to her through the mystical symbol of the wedding ring. The silence of her devotion rendered her so docile to divine inspiration that she would join the extraordinary few in sainthood. Many, even clerics, the rich and poor alike, gathered around her as disciples recognizing her gift for spiritual maternity. Her teachings have been preserved for Italy and Europe itself. In fact, the young girl from Siena entered with confidence and ardent words in the face of the ecclesiastical and social problems of her time. Catherine was tireless in her dedication to the solution of the multiple conflicts that plagued the society of her day. Her pacifying acts reached many European leaders such as Carl V of France, Carl of Durazzo, Elizabeth of Hungary, Ludovico the Great of Hungary, and Joanne of Naples. Her actions were significant in reconciling the city of Florence with the Pope, pointing out Christ crucified and sweet Mary to the quarreling. She showed that in a society inspired by Christian values, she could never find a circumstance to take the course of force as opposed to reason. She herself was the one to testify to her spiritual children on her deathbed. Be steadfast, dear friends, for I have given my life for the Holy Church. <laughs>